Shice, the voice of Brooklyn, BK all day. Oh, say what? 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 Okay, say to my right. That's how tired I am. But on the camera, really. Right. But I knew you meant your other right. right. I know, right? <laughs> Brooklyn in the house. What up, bro? We out here. Here with y'all. What's good? Story. Mm. See. What up, what up, what up? You already know. It's your boy, Pretty Tone, 840, representing the Bronx, representing the house. Yes, yes, yes. 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 That pretty yeah. mother. Okay. <laughs> Peter Shoe. Uh, I'm gonna do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoe, baby. HP Classic. HP Classic. Known as the Watcher. You're the Watcher. Oh, we definitely gonna talk about that. I was getting confused. I was like, that is him. I think that's him. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, royalty. <laughs> We're looking at the book for the life of the party. This is the story, the true story of Peter Shoe. <clears throat> so, I wanna, okay, so I, I gotta give everybody a little background. So Peter Shaw and I met at the mansion in Mount Vernon and we were hosting this thing. Something for Doug Oliver. I don't know exactly what it was, but I met you. And I mean, we took a picture and he, he, he hugged me and I was like, Peter Shaw. I felt like a fainting, but he's like, I don't know, I'm holding the weight up. I, so I, I try to tilt to the right. But um, first of all, it's an honor. Well, not to meet you, because I met you before. It's an honor for you to be in, in my house, the Cat Boogie house. So where did we begin? I mean, we, I, I went down by your, by your crib and I got the book. Me and Terry were having phone problems. But I, I really got it like maybe yesterday. But i would known about you through Deborah Coco, uh, the Funkmaster Flex interview. Uh, Jeff, different other people. That's what I'm talking strip about. Strip clubs? <laughs> yeah, I was dancing. You don't mess with me? Oh, no. See, I, 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 I was with you until you started that one. <laughs> I was with you these. No. No, I'm talking about for her. Right, right, right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, six times. Because of him. The hell with Zumba. Yeah. So, all right. So, where do you begin? Jim. Hit me with the questions. Yeah, right. Right. So, before we start, I want to let you know I got my cast from back in the day. Me and Paul. I got my Casavari here. Wayne. I got my other. People walk, and I got Mike Boss, with, you know, ABS is managing here tonight. ABS yeah. was trying to make, but he couldn't make it. You know, we got people doing stuff. Shout out to him. Yeah, he's been in the house before. Shout out, yeah. shout out to him. Mm -hmm. So, I started to read the book, but there's one part of the book here that really struck me. It's the very beginning, and coming from you, I, I really didn't expect it. So I'm just gonna read it really quickly. Just well, wait. No. <laughs> Hello, 911. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Wake Up. It says, Times of the essence, yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is not promised, it's a gift. People, it's all about right now. Cherish every moment for every day as it lasts. Live in the moment because time is of the essence. Mm -hmm. So basically, it is time waits for no man. So basically, whatever you want to do, you got to do now. And well, I can't take credit for that because that was tennis. Okay. I'm deep. Then I guess you can I'm hate deep. You're deep. I'm deep. Very. There's some quiet yeah. ones you got to watch. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So, tell me what yeah. you meant by Well, that's why they call him the watcher. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Like, yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery, today is not promised. It's all about right now. Right now. That's all we got. That's all we got. This second. Grace the moment. A grace of the moment. And I okay. challenge this moment with you right now. Uh, well, what do you remember this tomorrow? <laughs> remember this five minutes from now. Watch, hey, hey, yeah. I don't have my shirt on, but he yeah. has to keep watching it. Yeah. That's how I'm over to keep watching it, son. So I should have called you. You got to show it to me. I had it on earlier. Yeah, you're going to hit it down there, man. Yeah, I see. You know, this, this eye contact, we can't do this. So why do they call you the watcher? I've been around for quite a while. I've seen a lot of people come. I've seen a lot of people go. And I've seen a lot of people make a lot of mistakes, mm. and I'm here because of the grace of the Lord. Bless me because I associate with people like Peter Shoe. Mm. You know, who got my back. I'm here. 
I'm going to be here forever as long as I associate with the right people. Yeah, how long have been for the right reason. Excuse me, I'm sorry. How, how long have y'all known each other? That's my family. Family, day one. It's life. Life, that's what's up. Like, born, beautiful. So, within reading the book, we start, you basically start with just talking about from 19... Not to cut you off, though. Yeah. For 21 years, I did. He helped me down for 21 years. Wow. Wow, thanks. Yeah, yeah. shout out to you. Put up some much people don't do that. Close to my heart. Yeah. Thank you for being Family, 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 don't do that either. So shout out to That's a fact. Let's keep that one. I can say there are more friends and family that really got my back in certain situations. But how do you keep a guy positive? All right. And this is more or less for you, right? Like, how do you keep him positive knowing in the situation that he's in for 21 years? Like, at some point, not only is it hard on the person doing the time, but the people that surround him, right? Like you, like you and his family. I hate to cut you short, but... It's simple. This too shall pass. Mm. Wow. Just keep it simple. I hear that. But it's not really on him, it's on me yeah, to do it. Yeah. So, you know, only the strong survive. Wow. Right. So, you know, I had to deal with that every day. And, you know, everybody think, you know, I'm Peter Shoe, I can handle anything, I go to jail, it's nothing. Hell no. <laughs> jail is, jail is shuts your freedom off. You're tied to your family. Mm. You know, we, we all grown men, we want to do what we want. We got these young crackers telling us what to do, younger than us, you know, get up, do this, do that, you know. I mean, it's hard to adjust to, you know, because then you start thinking about slavery time, and, you know, this becomes modern slavery. Um, so it was a rough trip, but through the grace of God, through me not playing that BET, me studying my new ventures, which was writing book on movies and screenplays and all that, writing a book by me working out, my be saying sucker free, that's what got me through it. So, all right, let's start with, like, before you got to jail, how did you get in the game? How did that, that whole getting in the game start? Well, get to you the know, grits, get to the yeah. grits. Yeah, I got some grits, too. Some <laughs> cheese, <laughs> some grits. You know, I, I did a bit before this. No, I know. Know. So I did four years in the state, you know, and that's when we were robbing everybody because that's when, you know, I tell everybody cocaine was a casual high, like smoking weed is a casual high. Right, right. So, we, you know, we used to rob people, get the, get the money of the coke, with his disco fever, 371, get high, you know, shit like that. So when I went to jail and I came home, you know, I knew I, I wanted to change. Because I had stopped getting high before I went to jail, but I knew I wanted to change. So, you know, I tried to go get a job. I tried to get back in, in society. But, you know, as you read the book, you see what happened to me in the, in the job. They, they, yeah. I lied on the application saying I was I never know. convicted. So right. after that, I said, okay, I, I know it was my destiny. The game is on. So then I got into the game, man. You just blew up like that. Man. It's just so crazy because I was thinking about that. My, my aunt worked for the same phone company that you worked for. And it was like, you were trying your best. Like when you first came home the first time, I think your, um, your cousin Mac had, had, had a party and everything yeah. for you. And they were talking about all your, your men was there talking about your man we waited four years. What's up? What's, yeah. the, what's, the, what's the game plan? And then your mom was like, I don't know about you, but my name I'm going out to the telephone company. I'm getting a job. I want to raise my friend. And do what I need to do. Yeah. But did you? Were you a hundred percent on that, or was yes, it just I was, like I was, okay. I was trying to change my life, you know? But, but I had my my family, my other family, poor and waiting for me. So you know, I had to I had to come home, and we had to get get things going. But you know, the job, they, you know, they 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 did what they did. So I said, okay. And Paul said, we might as well do what we got to do. So we end up, you know, B. getting going to Plan B. Yeah. So, so now I'm gonna play the tape. So you came home, and there was a smell in your room. It was like, damn, what's that smell? And going back, Big Man had gave you a, a box. Yeah, yeah. Way back then. Yeah, coke in there. Yeah, that must have been pure. <laughs> you just yeah. smell coke like yeah. that. That must have been crazy pure. So, so that was. I didn't know how to cook it, you know, so he just told me over the phone how to cook it. And, you know, I jacked the whole thing up. You know, you can make it so. <laughs> I, I damn it, messed the whole thing up. So I really only got back what, um, um, was, what it was costing. Mm -hmm. I messed it up, but you know, after I got me a professional cook after that. <laughs> <laughs> you have a chef. Chef <laughs> Orbit. I was going to say that. Chef Orbit. You're out there cooking <laughs> that shit, man. As, 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 as so, pretty tone. Yeah, I brought it, I brought it, I brought it with me. No, I'm just right. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. that's where you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you made us a lot of money. Thanks, <laughs> man. You know, my, 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 what Tommy does. My, my character in the show, you know, I, I'm, I'm in, affiliated with the drug game. Um, so yeah, but that's only on TV. Yeah. But I got, a, I got a question. Um, 
You did. You said you did four year, a four year bid, and then you did a, a twenty one year bid. Yeah. Um. You seem like a pretty level headed guy. How does one go away for that long and come home and still be a level headed person? Got a support system. Well, yeah. If you have a support system, that's that's good. But you still have again. You still have to be at least strong minded. You have to that fall into the traps that was in in jail and 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 um. Lusting for the, you know, on BET, lusting for, um, yeah, I want to be, get these girls, when I come home, I want to be, um, I want to be a rapper, I want to be, you know, you, you don't get into that, you get into what's comfortable with you, what you able to do and accomplish your goal, you know, if like, if, if, like, you in jail, you say, damn, I want to, um, I want to be a, uh, I guess, a, uh, uh, some kind of computer analyst, then you go to school and study that, but me, I always had ideas of writing screenplays, you know, and stuff like that. So I said, damn. And I met a I met a man named George Young that did um uh, what's the movie? Uh, what's the movie? The Blow, Blow. Mm-hmm. So he he ended up being a rap though, so he was <laughs> I didn't know he was a rap, but he taught me how to write. So when they taught me how to write, I wrote a couple of screenplays like that. Then I wrote my book and my cousin, you know, when he found out I was writing and stuff, he kept like, yo man, this Let's put this out. Let's, I said, nah, I ain't ready yet, you know, because I got offered three hundred fifty thousand to do my book mm-hmm. from 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 some lady, and I turned it down because she was only going to give me X amount of money for, for the book after that. So if I'm going to do something, I I want to get the majority of money. Mm-hmm. So then after me and him kept going back and forth with it, you know, I decided to let him do what he do, and he he produced, you know, he published the book, he got the book on. Yeah. So. I noticed you never was a follower. You definitely was a leader. There was different situations I read as far as that. Well, I make I bring everybody around me. I make leaders. There's no exactly. followers. There's no. See, the whole thing is everybody looks to me because you know I stand out, and the aura when I come in the place, you know, for all my people bosses. That's all I got in line. Anybody that's around me is able to handle our whole organization. That goes from Paul all the way down. It doesn't have to be me. So. I always make sure that if one, we lose one, next man up. Next man up. Okay. So, I want to get to the part where, and I'm getting to the emotional side. Let's talk about Earl. Okay. Okay. So, I, I assume from what I was reading that at that point you weren't you were just a boy, and you became a man once that situation happened to him and he was killed, or whatever. And at that point, it was a turning point for you. Yeah, these are names that changed in the book because they didn't have to be real names. Okay, because you like my. All right. I got to remember who Earl was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so if you say I'm going to keep it real with you, I'm going to protect the innocent. The guy with the. the you, you know I remember, what I'm talking about. I remember okay. that. If, if you read the book, read the book, you'll get all that info. <laughs> yeah, yeah, read the book. I mean, it, it's, like really page, it, it's really a page. It's really a page turner. Um, I was actually hosting with Shice earlier today on his show, and I was like. I was in the meeting when we was going out there. And mm-hmm. I was like, Charlie, listen to me. I was like, damn, but we're at mad. I was just so <laughs> into exactly as a page turner. And so, all right, so. The book is like a drill. Yeah, yeah. Like a drill. Yeah, yeah it is. Well, mm-hmm. everybody, you know, I'd like to thank the, everybody that's been buying the book in the whole United States and overseas because I get all good responses. I haven't gotten one negative thing about the book. Everybody says they love it, it should be a movie. And, you yeah, know, and, and yeah. we're getting to that point. I think I could pay. I could play you. Yeah, I need to be uh, the barmaid. <laughs> what y'all think? I think I need to be the barmaid. No, 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 no. Cheryl or Mimi? Can I be one? Cheryl or Mimi's mother, maybe? I don't know. You give me a look like, hell no, Ken. Like I told you when we first met, I needed you. 20 some years ago. No, you no, 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 no. 21 years ago. I, 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 I wanted to come on after the fact. You know oh, what I'm saying? Man, I need you to go through the whole thing so you can get the feeling. So you say, damn, now I know what to do when I play him in the movie. Now nah, that's why we got writers. <laughs> they, they, they can help me. Thank you for So there are many titles that people have said or that made you to like sick of kid, drug dealer, gangster, five motor, Robin Hood for the streets, mm-hmm. and Black Pioneer. Mm-hmm. So, do you play you all of them, or do you play you one more than the other, or it's I'm all two? I'm gonna tell you answer that because that's what he put in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Ter- and he smiles, ladies and gentlemen. The Jets have scored. What did you feel? I was, brother. <laughs> like I said before, he's a good person. It's an honor to be associated with someone like him. 
So um, I wrote about a lot of things in there that were real. And when you meet them, you could feel it. So you be the judge. Okay. You, you know, because a lot of people be scared to come and talk to me because they think, um, I'm not like the other people. I'm a ghetto superstar. I'm mm -hmm. not a, one of them dudes that, you, oh, we can't talk to them. You know, I talk to everybody. I conversate, give you no autographs, take pictures of you, tell you what I feel. You ask me a serious question, even in jail, everybody used to come to me. Uncle Pete, what you think? OG Pete, what you think? And I tell them, this is what I would do, but you're your own man. And like I said, I, 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 only, I only build leaders, I don't build followers. And so you, you do what you feel is right. He has a major default, defect, though. He's given to a fault. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, I, and I wanted to ask you that, like, when you hear the name Pete Issue, right? People, do they judge you based on your past, like your history of your name, right? Like, again, it's like, okay, he's a gangster, he's this, he's that, and they scared to talk to you, or do they come up to you? Like, how do people respond to you when they first meet you? Okay. Well, well, the whole thing is, like, I used to be, like, literally saying that I'm Peter Shoe because I would think I would get, ne I thought I was going to get negative stuff when I came home, but mm -hmm. so many young brothers come to me and they be like, yo, you're a legend. Yo, I salute you. Yo, my father, my family, my, and, and, and you know they give me all these scenarios, and you know, like I told you, one day I was on the um, on the train waiting for the train, and um, it was like five, six high school kids. They looking at me, they gritting on me. So I was like, oh, don't tell me you're trying to break me a move. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just trying to break me a move. So I'm standing there, you know, I'm looking, and I'm, you know, whistling like, you know, maybe they, maybe I'm uh, uh, paranoid, but they kept gritting on me. So they saw walking towards me. So I said, oh man. I ain't even ready. You know, I was sick, so I ain't even ready to go to war with these dudes. So they like, yo, ain't you Peter Shoe? So I, I'm on the defensive. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said, yo, my father <coughs> talks about you all the time, man. I salute you. Can we take pictures of you? And I was like, Phew. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, it's, ready for war. It's, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. but you know, I get all of that, and I get the, a lot of blessings, you know, and on my Facebook, on my Instagram, you read all that stuff. You see, everybody hollers at me and tells me how much they love me, and, then when I lost my mother in March, I got a lot of love, and, yes. you know, so, I mean, it's good. I get a lot of good. Did yeah. you expect this? No. Like, okay. Did you no, know, right off the, right off the no. I thought that. everybody would be like, oh, he's a, he's a he's convict. Right, oh, right. we can't mess with him. Keep him away. But, I mean, when I came home and I went to the CIWA and um, Jada Kiss and Nyes and um, Rock Kim and, and even Floyd Mayweather, they see me, they gave me a lot of love. Yeah. And, you know, if you if, if you see what Jada Kids and, and, and P. Diddy did in that in that record, Old Man Wilder, right. oh, they did, you know they they set my name in the song, and I get all kind of shout outs everywhere, you know, and and a lot of love. So it's like you know I'm I'm blessed, you yeah. know that's all I can say. Well, I, I have still a question. Given to a fault too, mm -hmm. because homeless people he gives money to, mm -hmm. you know, and this and that, and I'm like, yo, what is wrong I mean, with you? Once you have that, once you have that, that, that instilled that, that personality in you, it, it's all to let it go. That's what, you know, I love the children in the world. I love the brothers and sisters. I love. I, you know, I love, you know, I hate to see the homeless people on the street. Oh, right. And, and you know, what kills me is, you know, everybody that is getting money in the, in the legal business, right, and even the drug business, man, they you could, you could go help these homeless people. Y'all got these people mm -hmm. out here in the cold, starving, mm -hmm. and, and, and it bothers me because I'm not able to help everybody. It's a business. I work, I work for the It's a business. That's right. So yeah. I have to pick and choose. So when, I, when I'm walking, I got to see who's at the worst. I try to hit the ones at the worst. Because there'd be some people over there fake it too. Yeah. You know yeah. But the worst, I try to hit the worst. You know? well, we got a plan for the homeless and um, um, sports foundations for kids in the future. Yeah. But first, we got to do us first. Yeah, we we got to last them come home. Yeah. I have a question. How hard was it to adapt after being held down for 21? How hard was it to adapt to like the outside now? Well, like I had the support system. I mean, I was living to go anywhere, but you know, I got. My, my cousin, Paul, Wayne, uh, uh, Mike, Boss. Uh, you know, I got so many people come see me every day. They still come check me. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm talking about my 10% brothers that, that's real dudes that never mm -hmm. told on nobody. They come to see me. So I get a lot of visits, and they was able to walk me through it. And, you know, I was so sick, you know, because I beat up the police in jail, and they, they poisoned me. So I wasn't able to drive or nothing. And they'll come and pick me up and take me everywhere, you know, uh, you know come over and make sure I'm okay. So I, I have it, my, you know, my girl used to get mad because he'd be like Grand Central Station sometimes. <laughs> but everybody, you know, I, I had to let her know, listen, these are my people. So they come and check on me, every, you know, to make sure I'm all right. So I'm blessed with that. I mean, but everybody don't get blessed like that. So you, but when you're a real good dude, a real good brother, 
people gonna cling to you. And that's I always had that in me. I got a question. Um, so most people know you as the the hustler, party promoter, the guy that dated Madonna, yeah. all those type of things. Can't, can't but that was that. that was the back in the days Peter Shoe. What is the two thousand and seventeen Peter Shoe? Who is he? Well, you know, Billy, I have a lot of weight on my shoulders because I gotta um make sure my, my team is right, my family. And my family means not my immediate family, everybody, my 10%. So, you know, I got a lot of people depending on me and, you know, you know I got my brothers that left, that's never coming home, I gotta make sure they are. Right. So I got a lot on my plate, but you know, I'm, I'm grinding. So I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to do what I do, but you know, everything's legal now. So it's, it's harder and then, you know, a lot of people were trying to hold me back because um, anti snitches and you know, I'm not a rat lover, and a lot of these guys out here is doing that. So my thing is this, I gotta get, be on the desert with no water, and if, if I gotta have a, a snitch give me a glass of water. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So mm. my thing, you know, is it's harder for me and guys like me because we have a certain criteria we deal with. Mm -hmm. And so when I deal with people, you know, if they into that type of stuff, I'm, you know, I can't do it. Yeah, the big thing that he's doing now is, is we sell the books. Selling books now. And the book is, um, is, is a guide to what not to do, you know, and how to stay out of prison per se. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and in actuality, he, he writes um, from the heart and it's to the youth about the game. And essence is not worth it. You know what I mean? Go to school, get a job, do the right thing for the right reasons. And we you know, try to educate the, the kids. Book. We try to go to, um, you know, lectures and give out. I got a, a few booked up. I'm going to speak to kids and stuff, and you got know of me, or, you know, uh, the family know of me, and I speak on on, the, on things like that. And uh, I go on my Instagram and my Facebook, and I'll just I don't go on there to just talk. Hey, how you doing? I'm, how you been? I mm -hmm. go in there to give them knowledge. Yeah. So that's what I'm on there, or to advertise the book, or to promote that I'm doing an interview with Kat or somebody. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I do. Let, let me let me let me play devil's advocate on that. So. <laughs> You tell them not to do what you did. Mm -hmm. But some of the things you did is why they praise you, meaning being the Robin Hood, the black pioneer, things that you've done. So it's, it's kind of... 20 years ago. Okay. Right, right. But ago. still, some of them may have started in, in your shoes. Like, I understand your father was in your life when you were younger. And you may, I don't know, maybe you can touch on how you felt like you needed to be the man of the house. And, you know... See, I'm not... See, see listen, let me explain something to you. You have to... Again... I build leaders, so I let them make the decision. I tell them what I went through, what it is, and then you decide what you want to do. Because, all right, yeah, I, I, it's all good, fun and good when you're getting all that money, you're having fun and going here, getting on private jets, you know, and, you know, going to Vegas and going back to Miami. You know, we we balling. But when that crashes down, and you got to do 20-something years, uh, 40 years of life, so people ain't coming home mm -hmm. that I know. Mm -hmm. Is it worth it? So these young, these young, you know, the way the system is built is to keep us to go back and forth in jail. But in the feds, it's no going back and forth. They gonna give you a, a, a can I cuss it? Yeah, yeah. Asshole yeah. full. They gonna give you an asshole full. So you gonna get football numbers because they don't. When when you get sentenced, you don't get sentenced for years. You get sentenced for months. Mm. So I have my whole family in the courtroom. And they, they, you know, I was telling them about my kids and, you know, sympathize. And, you know, she said, the judge said, we sympathize with your, 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 your situation, but um, I got to go by the guidelines and um, I have to sentence you to 296 months. So I said, 296 <laughs> months? I was like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just, yeah, 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 yeah. So I got to pay for my lawyer. I got to pay for my lawyer and I'm adding that joint up. My family, they all confused. Right, right, right. You know, I'm 12, 12, 25. <laughs> you know, so I, I, get, I, I haven't got to 20 already. So when I got to 20, my mother was like, how much is it? I said, too much. Right. You know, but I never broke down in front of them. I let them know I'm going to do this. I said, yo, they was quiet. I said, yo. Now I get a little emotional because I think my, my mom's put on. I, uh, I said, I do this thing in my head, don't worry about it. But when I got back to the cell and I was in the cell by myself, I was like, oh God, I would do yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know, but, uh, that's what it is. You know? Let me say this, like this interview, I ain't even gonna lie. Like just you saying that right there, like you get emotional. And I think that's so dope because we get to see 
the P, the real Peter yeah. Shoe. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not the not not the the newspaper well, articles, well, 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 not the the gangster yeah. Peter Shoe. We see the man, and I think that that's dope for people to see. Like like you said, I'm not scared to let you know. I get emotional when I talk about my mom's. Yeah, she, and her birthday was November 16th. Happy so birthday. you know that's not, that was not a rough day for me then. Yeah. So you know, so it's still so fresh. I mean, coming from Mars. But dear, even in the book, it was like when you first came home. And then when you went to try to get the job, and then your, when you came home, your mother already knew yeah. that you had lost the job, and he's like, like, like you felt the pain of your mother. I didn't know, so explain I didn't know, you know, I, I tried it your way, it ain't what, so I gotta do what I gotta do. But you know? my question is, why didn't you feel to try again? Or did you feel the pressure from your, your crew because- Because I was so hurt that day how they carried me. After you read the right, book, they right. carried me. They sent four armed security guards at me, yeah. put me in front of eight white people, and they talking about we don't like lies. And you know, so I, I, I caught a flashback to the roots. I thought, mm. you know, my name is mm. Kunta Kente. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was, it was something I caught, and then driving home, I was like, yeah, I ain't gonna never let them get me like this no more. Mm -hmm. And who's to say that wouldn't happen again? Right. So I said, fool me once, but you're not gonna fool me again. Right. So you're never gonna get me to make the same mistake. So when I got home, you know, I called Paul and then I said, yo, it's on. Yeah. You're going to be Paul in a little while. Okay. All right, we're going to take a quick break. If you want to call up 718-239-9200, we're here with the legendary Peter Shu. Yeah, we'll be right back in soon, too. The Matrix, me in that Bronx, that BX. I mean, act like you know it, act like you want it, okay? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. are back. We are back with the legendary Peter yeah. Shoe. Wow. Okay. I got a good yeah. question. Listen, I know you do. <laughs> so if you want to call, it, call up and speak with him, 718 239 We're here to. Okay. Okay. We're here till 10 o'clock for him. He's got a lot of things to talk about. And we look like Kyra. A little bit over. We we here. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen. Yeah. I need a couple of dollars to pay this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Uh, um, God, I told you I was that stripper. I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta go get the work. Get the work. you got another job. Wait, wait, wait. Right. Right. You tell him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know I know about her old job. I'm gonna give you a hint. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, he does now. Yes, he does. Yeah. He's like, yeah. And everybody like this, y'all. We know. Yeah, we all yeah, know. We know. Yeah, all we know. Know. I drive all of them. Hashtag facts. Hashtag facts. All right, so when you went in with cocaine, when you came out, it was crack. And it was like, Whoa, um, no, 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 no. That's not you? I started with it, but then I didn't like it. So I still, still went into cocaine. No, I never really, really, before. I was really robbing and sniffing the coke. When I got into the crap, I ain't like it, the game, so I went straight to the coke and the hammer on. And that's what I was doing. Selling kids the hammer on. And, uh, and, and uh, you know, selling kids the coke. I didn't like the crack game. So, we, you know, we sell the coke, whatever they do with it, they do. You know? so Why you didn't like the crack game? It was too small, too. I didn't like what it's doing to other people. people. Yeah, it's crazy. You know? Well, it's I just a form of what you was like when, I mean, What's really the difference? Maybe it, something? It didn't come from my hand. You know, I gave it to them. Whatever they do, they do. Mm. I, you know, I, I'm selling keys. I ain't selling Right, you ain't selling right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The difference. Whitney said, said crack is cheap. Yeah, you know I mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as a as a as a, a former drug dealer, how how big did you actually get? Mm. George John Big. Well, you know, we would we. we I had a team, so it's not just me. Like I said, it's a bunch of bosses, so we had people. I was probably one of the first ones to ever be able to recruit generals from all, all states. I mean, all brothers first, all brothers. So a lot of people claim their brother. I claim New York. So I had, I had, I had generals from Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, Bronx, you know, stuff like that, Staten Island. So, you know, put it this way. If you read the book, we was trying to get um, Madonna like ten million a month to watch for us. Mm -hmm. So that's what that one that we trapped us mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of details in the book. Yeah, yeah. read the book. Yeah. You know, the, the book okay. online. The book is sold on Amazon.com, Amazon, you know, notebooks, iTunes. It's all over. It's all over, it's all over, it's all over the world. So, you know, if you really want the details of the life of the Peter story, all you gotta do is get this book, you know, and it's in detail what happened. 
back then, we're not promoting anything negative. You know, it's a positive book. Mm -hmm. It's about something real, what really happened back then. You know, and it's still, still and now, it, it has a lot of influence on what's going on now. Too many books, and not to cut them off, but too many books and movies is made about fake dudes, rats, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I want to open the door for the real brothers to get, get in and get movies done on them, you know. So, you know, I got to, I'm affiliated with a bunch of brothers that's real, real good dudes and, um, the boy George Case Eisen, they getting the movie done. My mm -hmm. man Chad from Black Hair Production, he's getting the movie done. Um, um, the Lynch Mall from the Bronx and the Lynch Mall from Manhattan, shout out to all of them because we trying to get movies done for them. Um, Eden War and them, my man Rick and them from Eden War and them. And they, they was the first crack people. Yeah, shout out to Eden War. They, get, mm -hmm. they, 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 they deserve a movie. It's a lot, but you can go all over the United States because I met my man on Warren from um, Baltimore. He was the first. Um, he was the person they stole the wire information from the rats and did the movie on him, but that's not how it really went down. And we hope we're trying to get him uh, a movie deal too because um, you know he's got a real story to tell and he's a real good brother. And he did like 30 years, and um, but he's from Baltimore. And you got you know I got people from all over though, you know that I'm cool with that I'm trying that was real brothers. I'm trying to get them on the front page instead of they're doing movies on these rats and. And, and bless them with money when they come on. Yeah. They ain't doing nothing for the real brothers. Right. So I don't understand yeah. that. It's, it's, it's killing me, you know. I'm having trouble. I was having trouble getting on certain shows and stuff, but the rats get on. Yeah. I'm still waiting on the breakfast That's thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Great. Well, since you said the door, you opened the door, you mm -hmm. know, I want to find out, because you did something that a lot of brothers at the time wish they could have done. You had a relationship with Madonna. Can you tell us about that relationship? Well, that's yeah. from the book. It's in the book. <laughs> <laughs> it's, in the book. Well, it's in the book, but if you ask me specific questions, yeah. I'll answer them now on the show. But, but I don't want to go through the whole thing. I don't want to go through the whole thing. No, of course not. No, no, not the whole thing. Of course. You know, she's the one, you know, that uh, um, helped get me this 25 years. I, I, I never said right. to that's what and I wanted she, to ask. You know, and it's really going to be on and popping. I, I don't know when this is going to be aired on YouTube and stuff, but on uh, December 7th, we're supposed to get the, the panties released. And you're gonna, and they're gonna the Let's panties. talk about those you're panties. Yes. The panties. These are the panties, panties that were auctioned off? For gonna be, they, she stopped it. She put a, a claim to stop it, but she had no merit, so they, they're going to throw it out December 7th. But when they throw it out, then we're going to auction it. Mm. And um, it's gonna, I'm going to get a... How panties. much do these so, panties wait, wait, wait. go for? How, how old are these panties? Did Victoria tell this secret already? Like a virgin. Victoria was probably a teenager. Uh, yeah. Like a virgin. Like a virgin. Well, did, you, did you ever get to meet Christ? No. Damn. Damn. The whole thing is, you know, her DNA is on him and stuff like that. That's what she's beefing about. But mm -hmm. you know, no she tried to say I stole them. And then, and then she retracted because she don't even still. Right. So what kind of like, panties are these? Are these like sugar bloomers? Or these like what kind of panties are these? Grandma <laughs> Grandma, you know, you know, they panties. Panties, right? Yeah. 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 No, but but basically, I wanted to know, you you, you know, everybody the, the the hustler coming out, but now you're in these clubs, you with these entertainers, you know, partying with these uh, sports figures, singers, actresses. How did you, you know what I'm saying, feel like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm here with these people, or like, did you feel like an entertainer too, or did you feel like, yo, yeah, I'm going to just, I'm a hustler yeah, make it. Well, I say, this is the same question Flex had asked me too, and you know, the whole thing is like, at first, you know, I'm a drug dealer, you know, I'm branded as a drug dealer, right. but as we start getting into the entertainment business with the parties and all that, and I'm hanging out with, you know, Charles Oakley's my man, shout out to Oakley's, and one that looked, Oak. looked out for me right. when I was in jail. Mike Tyson, all the people I was hanging out with, and you know, we started becoming celebrities. So celebrities wanted to meet me. It was crazy because they thinking I'm somebody that I I, I don't know who I was. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I I we used to go to the spot on um um I'm trying to think of the name of it. It's on Sunday nights. Wayne, you remember the name? Chaz and Wilson. So Chaz and Wilson was a spot anybody with all the high boys with it. So you see. Robert De Niro, Wesley Snipes, Woody Harrison, you know, I met them all, but you know, but I got the biggest table in there. Oakley used to get mad because, yo, how you get the eight-seater? And he got a booth, six-seater. So, you know, I'm coming there buying all the crystal at the time, so, you know, so, you know, you know, I was, I was that dude that was giving it so, to you, yeah. You know, the owner, the owner of the spot, Debbie, she 
she knows a cool white lady. She brought um, Mama De Niro meeting one day, you know. So I, you know, they wanted to know who I was, and I was like, wow. you know, and uh, he used to, I used to laugh because they thought, and my mom, I'm a drug dealer, but you know, then I had guys coming over playing them, and I thought this guy was playing because he was like, mm -hmm. you know, I thought somebody put him up to it because he's like, yo, can I take a picture, picture of you to to, to give to my daughter? And I was like. Man, he was playing games, but he, he really was serious. He said, my daughter seen you on B uh, music video box, mm -hmm. and she wanted to, she, she's in love with you, and she wanted to take a picture. She's a young girl. I said, yeah, all right, take the picture. So did your mindset start gradually going into, oh, well, like, I'm an entertainer? Well, he was thing. trying to change over. You know, if I didn't come to jail, me and Chad's probably had a record company together, you mm -hmm. know, because that's that's my dude. So, we, you know, and shout out to Big D, too. That's my, my, my main man. He's down in North Carolina now, but that's my main man. And, you know, we all... We always affiliated with each other, so we we support. So, so at the time, at the like, again, you are like this celebrity, right? You're the you're, you're the guy that everybody's watching. How hard is it to have a personal life at that time? Yeah, ladies, man. Well, you know, <laughs> you know, we was busy, so everything we do, we busy, you know. But I wasn't only when the girls was that because they had to pour, they had to tell me, they had to all of us wing because bang or bang just came in here too, so yeah, bang yeah. was at the bang. You know, the whole thing is, my whole team, nobody knew who the boss was. Mm -hmm. Because we don't display that. Because when we reach in our pocket, always pull money out. So, I, I, you know, you got these corny guys that when they, they cool go out, they want to have all the money, and you be with your girls, and they want to pay for the bills and all that. But you know what that does? That make your girl want to be with the dude. Mm -hmm. We don't go through that because we all got the paper. So we pull it out so they don't know who the boss is. And if, if, if you know... Um, one of my lieutenants, Derek, who, who passed away, this girl was trying to talk to him, right? He was trying to talk to this girl, and she was like, um, you know, giving him like the, you know, you're not the boss, you know? Yeah. So we, 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 we called it Routine 3. So Routine 3 is, and I went, I went over there and said, yo, um, I'm, um, um, boss, do you want us to do this? You want us to do that? Yeah. So she looking, she bugging out. Yeah. She thinking, I thought Peter, she was a boss in her mind. My cloud went right. So, <laughs> so you know, we let him play the role. So are you ready to leave? Are you ready? You know, and he was giving the shot orders because we already had the um the routine, routine then. like we, we rehearsed it. Yeah. So he got the you know he got the coochie and everything. He got the yeah. Yeah. So then he dumped that in so that thing. We used to go to them shows. No, no, no. Because we used to go to them shows and you had to bring your media girl with you. So you can't bring no no um, side pieces. Side pieces. You got to bring your main girl. So we went to one of them shows where they had all the groups, you know, the old groups, the whispers and slugs. All the all the all the did it. We did it. So now you know, I'm the boss role that day because it's me. So I was like. Yo, Devin, did you make sure boom, boom, boom? And she's looking now, she's bugging. Because now she's like, man, but she's confused. Right. So when Devin went to take care of it, I, I called her and I said, listen, man, let me explain something to you. I see you, I see you look on your face, right? Let me explain something to you. I get this much more money than Devin. I said, so you being with him is just like being with me. Mm -hmm. I said, so don't mm -hmm. think he ain't getting no paper because the boy got houses, cars, and everything. Yeah. So, so you know, we had to go through that, you know, yeah. as because, as, you know, we already prepared ourselves because we knew what's going on. So that's what we try to prepare ourselves with issues that was going to transpire later on in our, in our lives. So everybody comes up with ideas. Not just me, Terry, Paul, the rest of the brothers, Bang. So everybody, Wayne, they talk about, yo, we should prepare and get this right. Uh, our security should be like this for this day. Or we should, and, and that's what we go with. Yeah, I got an idea. I want my partner to come in and sit and talk to me as well. Yeah, we're going to have it. Yeah. Okay, you want to give us it. Yeah, this is book. Let's talk Once again, uh, information for the book. You can get the book on famigotcha.com. Um, you can go on the internet, type in the name Peter Shoe. You can find um, it on Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com, iTunes, yeah. Abram Spa. It's all over the internet. All yeah. you got to do is type in the name Peter Shoe. Get it. Type and get it. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a real page. Live and learn. learn. Thank Terry, you, thank you so very much. Yes, yes. I'm going to see you on the football field. Shout out to the watcher. Yo, the watcher. Shout out to the watcher. The watcher. Okay, this gentleman right here. In, yeah. This gentleman right here is Wade Westcott. He's my consulate. Wade, what's going on, Wade? So, I'm sorry, you're right. My consulate. You ever see the Godfather? Yeah. Oh, I'm like, the way you said it, I'm like, huh? Yeah. Okay. She said, let me get Google out. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Google, what does this mean? Huh? <laughs> Alexa? So, you know, Siri? Been there for me forever too, you know, and 
he helped me down and he, he, between him and Chevy, they made sure my mother was right for me, check on my mom so when I was away. So I'm telling you, how you doing? My name is Wayne Westcott. Yeah, I'm in the book. Okay. But I'm in the book in a different capacity. Okay. okay. As a friend. How long? How long? How long has this friendship been? So, right now, about thirty years. Thirty okay. years. So, when we first met, it was like he was the type of person that he really wanted to be around. Mm -hmm. He was quiet, but you could see that he had potential. And I never knew what he was doing. All I knew that he was taking care of his mother and his family, and when he was in jail, we went up to see him. And one thing I like to mention, that when he came home, there was people that came up to the prison to give him like an interview. When he came down to the city, there was this. I never understood even at our first interview, which was in Drosnak with Mark, Jamal, and myself. They asked me one question, and the question was, what do you think Peter Shoe is going to do when he gets out? That's the end of the story. He's doing it right now. So based on that, the brother will give you the shirt off his back. And I'm glad they knew what I was going to do. But how do you do it? How do you weed people off, right? At the time, again, you're at the height of your your uh you at the height of everything. How do you uh wave people off to say, okay, these guys are here for my benefit, like they really got my back and these people are just here for what I have. Yeah, like how do you weigh that off? Well, you know, the whole thing is, it's like trying to find out who's going to tell you when they get knocked off. You don't know. Mm -hmm. See, you just have to uh, hope for the best and expect the worst. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't judge a person. I judge, I judge a person by their actions. Mm -hmm. You know, because you know, if you show me that you in my corner, I'm gonna show you I'm in your corner ten times more, because that's how I get down. But if I see the flaws in you, then I must. Yeah, I'm gradually backing up because you know there's a couple of people I backed up from and you know that's because they're not doing on the same page as me. I wish them this, um, the best but if you don't find follow the criteria we follow then you can't be there. You can't be doing things. First of all you can't be a rat no. Right. If, you, if you're hanging out with the rats then you know it's no need for you to hang out with me exactly. because it's like it's like drinking coffee and tea two different things. Mm. So um, speaking about rats I was watching a Punk Bloods interview, and I remember you said, you said uh, that one of the people that, that snitched on you came and said, yo, I'm sorry I did that, but you know, I had to do what I had to do. So yeah. you said you would never mess him, but you respected the fact. Could you touch on that a little bit? No, oh, because you know, he was the only person I ever met that came to me and told me that he was Oh, no, no, it was okay. And I said, I, I respected it because I said, you know, he was man enough to come and tell me, but I've never deal with you no more, but I respect that you came and told me. But you know, there was a few people that didn't tell me, and I had to find out, and you know, especially when we was away, and I had to, had to shit on them, because, you know, I don't care, just like, let me explain something, even with the gay thing, like, I don't, I have people that I know this gay, I ain't got no problem with that, because that's their father to me. But don't keep it in the closet, don't hide it, and then I gotta find out surprised by it, then that bothers me, because then, if you had to hear that from me, what else you gonna hide? But, you know, not to their defense, but if people are intimidated by you, I mean, they might feel like if you knew that I was gay, that you wouldn't want to wait, grab with me, do anything. That's not true. We do business. Business is business. See. see, business is business, right? But, you know, a snitch I would never talk to. But there's gay people all around the world that you got to deal with business wise. And I, that's their sexual preference. I don't have them. After we close the door after the meetings and discuss business, what they do, they do. Yeah. But a snitch ruined people's lives. A gay person is only doing things for their sexual preference, themselves. So I, I don't beat behind that if I know you are one. But if you come, if you you run around acting like you're a thug, I'm gangster and all that, and you're a gump, then you know, and I find out, because I, I find out these things through the grapevine, and I'm like, yo, that's crazy. Did, didn't you walk in on something, a situation where you was, when you was down? 
Yeah. When I was in jail? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Walked in on something. Yeah, what, you know. Your man went home. Nah, he didn't see me. <laughs> we walked, we walked, I went to the bathroom one night, and the dude was in the bathroom having sex with another man. Mm. So I, you know, jail I'm half asleep. So I was like, yo, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> and, the, and the dude said, you know, he was supposed to be a gangster. Well. And he said, Yo, sure, I don't do this every day. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, what day you do it? Right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's me on them days. Yeah, so, so, you know, so some people don't think they gay if they're actually <coughs> objecting and not the one receiving. So maybe they didn't think he was doing something that, you know, he wasn't a you know, gay, but, you know. But yeah, well, well, I don't know. That's not I mean, the case. Any, anybody got their, their, what they want to do, and I, I, I don't judge a person. Mm -hmm. But if you snitched on somebody, you ruined somebody's life. So if you did that, I don't want to be involved with you. Mm -hmm. And... You know, I've been speaking about my, my, my captain all night, Paul, and he's finally here. It's so. Paul. Oh, you look so young. Oh, you look so young. Listen. Wait, hold oh, on. Oh, that's, thank hey. you, sweetie. Well, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, cameras, I'm not going to cry. Don't say that. I'm, not, I'm young. I've been around. Wow. I've been around. Me and Jesus. We, we nah, broke bread. She said, you know, I mean, he said, me and Jesus. Is that the last time? broke bread. Look at the picture. The last supper that got peeking up on the table. That's you, that's, that's you. me. That was you <laughs> trying to say. You were trying to sneak the extra piece of bread? There you go. <laughs> so just to feed the family. There you go. But yo, listen, my name is, uh, my name is Paul Kimball. Yeah. Right? You don't know it's Kimball, too, right? Family of eight. Kimball family. You know what I'm saying? It's the Kimball clan. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a Kimball too. Over there. But me and Pete. I know everybody go back with him, but we was jump shot from the jump. Hunts point for life. Wow. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? And, and we, 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 we grew a bond where, like he said, we weed out who ain't supposed to be around us. If it's 20 of us together, you ain't never going to fight 20 people at one time. You're going to fight us one at a time mm -hmm. to prove to our crew who can't handle a fist fight. You get knocked out, you just don't smoke no weed with us. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't get you don't get with us. Natty Nick, nigga. But Natty um, Nick. And you see how big he is, right? Yeah. Show your hands. You know, um, damn, a smack is when he oh, stop teasing me. <laughs> 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 but but back then, he didn't want nobody. Else. Are you married? Because you just teasing me. Say this something quick. Paul was always there for me, like, and he 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 sees things and he'll drop the jewel at me. He'll tell me, yo, I don't like him. Or something wrong with him. And if push come to shove, he'll do something too. But that's how he is. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You just escort him out. You just escort him out. You ain't gonna go out. You just escort him out. Yo, listen to me, nigga. Don't worry about it. There's um, what they say, what they say. There's a um, immunity. No, a time limit on all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, ain't no statute of limitations. Ain't no statute of limitations. Ain't no statute of limitations. I'm like, you did this for no the Yeah, I got no, but you know, he, he was, He's always there because he was with me every day. It's not a day we went together because he comes to my house every day. My mother loves him. Yeah. She loved him. So, you know, you know, uh, you know that. I know, I so see that. Mama, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. she's always asked for her. He was, she was dying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 the main thing I want to say is that, like, the, the, the era we came up in, we like 60 babies. It's like no respect out here. No, no for what, facts. What no. they would even consider the game no. is supposed to be. That cold mm -hmm. so, right. Yeah. right. Yeah. So if you ask somebody like old time, like Pete, yo, what would you do? It would be hard for you. To answer. It would be hard for you to answer. What would you do if you walked outside right now and the guy pulled the gun on you and said, Give me your glasses? Mm. Did you give them up? Or do you take that the gun is fake? Pretty tell you front, so you give it up those glasses. <laughs> no, you no, you understand what I mean? It's, 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 either, it's either do or die. Or die. Right. We grew right. up that way. You know what I'm saying? So we had to weed out who was around us because. It's our freedom we're talking about. See, That's I, all we cared about. The money was delicious. We know that. Driving to the limos, going to the party, all that was fun. I was never really with that scene. But I was always when I always told Pete, you know what I'm saying? Listen here, man, I'm gonna take this over there to him, man. But that thing he said, I don't like the way it sounds. And nine times out of ten, it'd be true. This is the uh question I have for you guys. When you said that like you said your whole team of bosses, yeah. right? When you breed a team of bosses, when 
how do I say this? When do you like you got a team of bosses? Is it hard to maintain that? Like when somebody gets out of line, like who tells who who's wrong? Who says, yo, stop? Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you do it. You do it. It's just a good one. You came out the Baltimore? It's just a good one. You came out the Baltimore? Where was he? I was in court. I was doing it. It was coming at us. I mean, we had, we talking about a cheese line? Yeah. I'm talking about a Sunday, yo, brunch cheese line. Duh. Damn. Duh. Come here. I'm like, yo, who are you talking to? <laughs> Come here. Yo, yo, is everything all right? Yo, if you leave me alone, it wouldn't be. Don't <laughs> <laughs> talk to me like that. Remember, the girl was in the car. Don't talk to me. Like, all right, we'll discuss this later. But it never, it never amounts to nothing because that's how you break the bread the right way. If you cut the slices evenly, gonna talk, nobody's going to be too I greedy. I thought you going to talk about the time you was in the club. Uh -huh, that, 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 that. <laughs> he's a top shaker. He, he got all in. Uh, he the boss. He got all the tennis to the All the tennis to the All the tennis to the out of the club. Nobody's watching the block except for Smoker. <laughs> but we put up on Smoker. Smoker's like, he out there freezing with the blackberry brandy. I said, yeah, we're pouring them in. <laughs> pouring them in the club. 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 Yo, we said, oh shit, what's up? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing that's something. My man. That's my man. But you know, you know, to, to ask you a question, my bad, you know, like I said, everybody has to say, I'm not, we're not gonna, you know, okay, I'm getting the bricks, but everybody has to say, I listen to everybody's saying, because if it's the only time I ain't listening to nobody, and it got me to 20 some years because they told me don't go and mm -hmm. make that move. So your people told you that. They told me don't go. Yeah. But there was a drought. And I had to, you yeah, know, I had, the move, yeah. I had to do this crying, so I had to go get, you know, get something. So I, I, so I, I thought it was. So I could, but I, like I told in the Flex show, um, I really should got kicked in my ass because if there's a drought, how the hell I was getting two prices for that day? So I didn't think about that. I'm being greedy. Mm -hmm. You know right. what I'm saying? And, you know, it cost me. So, but then again, if I don't go to jail, I might have got killed in the street. I might that have was my question. I case and got life. No, no, so, you know, right. because cases came after me, and dudes was telling on me then, in their cases. Mm -hmm. So I was meeting a lot of brothers in jail, and they was like, yo, you Peter Shoe? I said, yeah. So they was like, you are my case. Mm -hmm. Your name is mentioned in my case. Wow. I said, wow, who told? And I found out who the rat was, and I knew who the rats was. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, they told on you, but they was trying to implicate me too. Right, right. You're in the dark comes to light at some point or another. But believe me, you know, me and Paul always had uh, arguments and stuff, little arguments, but, you know, that the whole thing is, yeah. the next day I'm hanging out with him. Of course. Because yeah. we just, if we don't see eye to eye on something, that's his right as a man. Mm -hmm. See, now, if, I, if I'm the type of boss like these other clowns, where they want to, We've been every day. We've been everybody like, was in jail with me. Alley, everybody, no, but everybody would be in jail with me because mm -hmm. if you follow one leader, right? Mm -hmm. If you follow one leader, when he falls off the bridge, everybody mm -hmm. gonna fall. Right. But if we all do this, it don't it don't go like that. Right. See, that's so, the problem. We don't have that no more. Yeah. We don't have that brotherly love where yo, all right, you wrong. Let's shoot the five, and then we be back together. We don't have that. Right. Every, everything I say, I start off with the year that you was born. <laughs> I'm a 63 baby. Are you okay? And as the years come up, the, the, the prospect and the aspects of every way of thinking change. Yep. It's no longer the same. Yeah, it's it's like the same. word of fair one. What's going on? A fair one. What's that? What's that? What's that? You can't get a fair one in court no more. Yeah, to work. What's that? You go to court, it's everybody like, you like, yeah. so you, so I don't even know you. No, 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 But, can I say this? Yeah, can I say this one thing? Listen, to one thing, like, like me and Pete, we got going on, you know, I win a couple of games, and he win a couple of games, but we play chess. And that's what, that's what prepared me. Listen to me, no, 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 no joke. This is what prepared me to go out there and understand what pieces on the board you need and what pieces you don't. Don't need, wow. You know what I'm saying? And that, that was it, good it helps. Job. But you gotta understand, some people infiltrate. They get in there, no matter how hard you try to keep them out, they get in. And those are the ones that cause you downfall. And we, mm -hmm. But we try not to let them get out. <laughs> it's like a most motel. Once they check in, they 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 it's to the point. It's to the point where I don't even like cheese no more. <laughs> I, I don't want to eat, eat cheese no more. And you know, this place is hard. And you know, to know him is to love him. But the thing is about him, he's so like humble. So, you know, everybody calls him the life of the party because he's. He, when he comes to the house, everything changes. The mood changes with everybody because he's so humble and a great host. But when he gets to the other side, yeah. you don't want to see it. Keep uh, saying that. When I ask for the check for this, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, like the ladies man, mm -hmm. you know, 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 you know
But I, I don't know. Oh, I got to put the mic on. Yeah, yeah. Are you talking about me? Oh. <laughs> oh, I, only got, I only got 19 kids, so I don't know about the ladies, man. What? I see that's why I'm kids. Yo, Stay over there. Don't put it seven on quick my eggs out of the water. Out of the time. Oh, 47 I had young stuff? Hey. Go, 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 go. I thought this was a family show. Yo, yo listen. Yo, I warned him. Yo, I warned him. Yo, I warned him. Listen, listen, you don't see the heat about to rise in there? You keep licking them lips. You want boy and girl. He gonna be on Jack. Look, he gonna be on Jack. Yo, Peter! Yeah. 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 Changes just like every relationship. Oh, but she's 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 been in my corner and I, you know, and all my people love her. So she's she's part of the team. So great, great that course. is a good yeah. question. Great. No, 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 that's great. what he worried about. Yeah. Yo, but Cheetah, if you get rid of her, I can't go eat. My, the question the, the you being the ladies, man, even from day one, like having Madonna come up to you and, and you know come to you and wanna, you know, talk and all that, or just any of these other these women that just see you do. He mm. got the penny. She it, didn't want to talk. Listen. Exactly. <laughs> well, you know what you know. That's what she said. I stole her, man. Right, right. Yeah, give me the like, panties. <laughs> saying, like, you know, just these women coming up to you and, like, you know, making you that, that symbol now. Like, how, how does that make you? How do you feel? How do you know who's real? Yeah. I think my question is, how do you know who's real? Like, you Ooh, know who's only the night. How do you know? How do, you, how do any of your nose feel when you talk to a, a lady or a man? Know. So oh, I mean, but you're so busy, you in the life, you doing so many things. How do you know? Sometimes, like you be fooled. That makes it harder. Listen, people yeah, are so life makes it harder. People are so yeah, but you could be fooled. You could be tricked. Yeah. I was tricked. I tricked people. So I mean, you know, everybody gets so tricked. Lame. It's it's you know, you just, again, you just gotta strike the worst and hope for the best. Exactly. I mean, well, can I ask the question? Like, as a person in the life, and as busy as you were, and as much as you was doing, did you even want anybody real? Like. Uh, like, did you think that you wanted a wife or something question. like that? Uh, yeah. No, I didn't at the time. I wanted a ball. There you go. Because yeah. it's so I had so many girls coming at me. It's like, you know, it's like me and Paul would be together and be like, you know, what flavor, run, run, run. What flavor you want to be? Mm -hmm. Yellow chocolate, mm -hmm. you know, yellow. We, 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 I got somebody on TV, man. No, 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 I wasn't like that. Was even back, <laughs> back then. <laughs> no. But, you know, um, um, you know, we, we, we Every party we go to, we meet somebody new. We in Vegas, we meet somebody new. We in Soul Train Awards, we meet somebody new. I mean, you know, uh, especially when I'm hanging with uh, uh, my man Chaz and Big D, and them, that they they love Big D, and they love, you know, I love Big D. I and they love um, they love everybody, you know, Big D from Queens, you know. Shout out to him again, and they love um, Chaz, so you know, Black Hat Production, man. So we be together, and they be like, they look at us and be like, oh man, they see. You know, I was at a party one time, and the girls was like, damn, I hit him. I'm in the bathroom. They told me, like, yo, he's green. 
So he's real green. So I came out, I came out the bathroom and said, what the hell are they talking about? So I said, what are you talking about? Oh, do you have this penis? I said, they talk about money wise, what the niggas got. So I said, well, I said, well, how green, I said, well, how green am I? They was like, super green. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that, that, that made me laugh. So, you know, but I mean, you know, the girls got their little jokes and the games they play. And we had our game, the brothers got the games they play. But, you know, in the end, you just got to be real careful because what happens is, the one you really, really should be with, you miss out on sometimes. Did you ever let somebody go? It was like you felt that they weren't, they couldn't deal with the game? Yeah. Yeah, you was. Wanted. Wanted back in the day. Oh, yeah, back in the day. Yeah. yeah. She's she's still, back, she was always in the back of your mind. Yeah. I, yeah. I, let her, I let her go because she, she was only 18, I was 28. 65. <laughs> 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 so at the time, so you know, I had to let her go because of the fact that she wasn't ready. And she wanted, she wanted that, you know, she's Dominican, so she, her family want that, you know, relationship, mm -hmm. you know, marriage and everything, you know, so I couldn't give it to her at the time, so we parted ways for a while, but, uh, you know, Wanda was only when I know, truly, truly, loved me for me, and I didn't have to have a dime, she loved me for me, I mean, there probably was others, but she was only one that really I know loved me for me. Because in, in the book, it was the part, I mean, I actually could live by cash, yeah. When you came in the room, you saw across the room, and, yeah. you know, you just like... Yeah, you know, I just changed the names, because I don't like to put people's names out there like that. Paul's name's in there. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. It is. Yes, it is. Change oh. minds, too. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me any different. Big Paul. <laughs> she said Big Ann Paul. Yeah. 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 You know, I'm an Almond Joy. Mm -hmm. That's what they call it. Peter Paul Almond Joy. Yeah. You got um, Almond Joy. Peter Paul. That's what they used to say. Peter, Peter Paul. Paul. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what it is? Yeah. I remember, <laughs> that's why you had the whole time, I remember, baby. I remember, I remember, I remember like, like, growing up, you, I mean, I mean, I did a lot of time with Joe myself. I don't, you know, it's three separate beds, mm -hmm. you know, and like I said, it's the, like my brother just said, it's a formation that you pick after you come out. Mm -hmm. It's either like, do I want them to put handcuffs on me again, or what can I do to stop them from putting handcuffs on me? And as a black man, our options was really, really slim, mm -hmm. you know, 20 years ago. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, especially if the 10 years before the 20, you didn't go to school mm -hmm. and get your education and do what you do. You chose to play first, mm -hmm. which we chose to do. You know, so now we sit before you, uneducated, but streetwise, like a young life degrees. And that's so crazy, because I have a person that I used to deal with, um, did a thread, he came home, he tried to be legit, he used to, you know, sell drugs, and he was, had a job shoving shit and sending it across to the world. Mm -hmm. And every day he'd come home, he'd be coming. I'm trying, I'm trying, at that time my name was Big C. Mm -hmm. I'm trying, I'm trying, my father was a civil court judge. Mm -hmm. So he really, you know, him and my father was like really cool. Mm -hmm. And um, he just, after a while, he said, yeah, fuck it. He went home, he got a gun, went to the Jewish store, stood, robbed the Jewish store, sat on the curb and just sat there and waited. Mm -hmm. just wanted to go back. Because he couldn't, he could, wasn't going to get any higher than, oh, yeah. Like the seven, eight dollars now. They want to go back to that life. I'll be honest with you. That that that's always going to be a tough one. You know what I'm saying? Because like like you said, the, the brother did 21 years. I mean, at any given time, you could put something around his neck and drop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of them that that have that same opportunity to drop if they want. But there's always something in your heart that pulls you to let right. you know. You know what I'm saying? As the watcher just said before he left, this too shall pass. Yeah, that's right. You know, just hang in there. Take one more day. And this is my honest opinion. I think your mother will kept you strong. Yeah. I just think totally. The way well, you talk about it. She like, held off for me to get home. I used to pray to God at me every night when I was in jail. Just let me spend a little time with her. And mm -hmm. I got to spend a little time with her. You know? but to, that, to get up that stairs that you know, yeah. both, both of us played basketball at the time, too, right now. When he... He was in the state that I was just coming out of the state. We had a team going in, and of course, just the main team. So I, uh, I was ready for that. Wait a minute. He was in the nation. 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 Oh, here we go. We punished them. You won by two points. And then we had a team fight. We had a team fight. We punished them again. Oh, wow. Except for him. Ain't nobody punishing him. I ran up on him and faked it. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Yeah, what a fake. 
and he put the big hands up. I said, yo, I said, yo, I'll see you when I get home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a growing pain. Every snack. Those are the growing pains. Yeah, do you punch snack. people or do you smack I, people? I, 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 I love slapping. slapping. Yo, I'm about to say, hold on, you know why? Because, you because when you punch a person, it don't get no it's, yeah, slapping is like a such a disrespectful <laughs> thing to do. You be like, the hell are you, baby Huey? Not the one. the baby. We're going to talk to him. We're going to take a little break. We're going to bring back up some of your other soldiers. It's the Cat Book Show. 7 8 Why is my phone not ringing? Be here. 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 Okay, before we go on, you know, I like to uh, advertise the clothing lines. You know, we always support everybody's clothing lines. Yes, yes. So you see I'm wearing Island of Life right now, and my brother Devon's here tonight. We're wearing Island of Life. I wear wide tail, I wear Durangelo, I wear 33T, and he got a new jacket, jacket coming out. I'm going to have it by Monday. Everybody wants to order it. It's, it's fly. You go on my Instagram and my uh, Facebook, and you'll see it. You know, I, I think he charged $160 for the jacket, but it was nice. Okay. And, um, That's that jacket he had on. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. it's, it's on my Instagram and, and what you want. This is Iron Man Life. Iron Man Life does this thing too. So I got everybody, Wattel, Triangulo, they, you know, I advertise all the, I wear, I wear all this stuff and advertise it. But right now I got my nephew here, Mike Boss, who's the manager of ABS. Yo, yo. What up? Yo, yo, ABS. Oh, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you come on the phone, um, ready? Oh, okay. Before we do that phone call, we want to honor you, Cat Boogie shirt. Cat Boogie shirt. There it is. I know, I just lost. Oh, I'm blessed. Look, I got me. Yes. 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 Really? I'm just saying. So we're gonna get one for you as well. Get Whoa, you get Paul. Paul. We know you know Paul would yeah, do I You know I would wear you out. I'm mean, wearing you in the game. So on both sides. Don't, yeah, don't, don't, don't forget, don't forget, we on there too. Yeah, we so. on there. Oh, so. yeah. I don't know how we can look at the sound. Yo, 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 you on the Cat Boogie Show. Hey, Cat Cat. Hey. Cola, what's going Cola, on? What's up? Hello, no, no. Cola, what's up? Can we hang out? I'm yo. Still you still there? Hey, Cola, you want to tell us who you are? What's going on? You there? Jesus? Like, they don't want to talk. Jesus. They don't want to talk. Jesus. Jesus. They might be a little intimidated. There's Cola. Yeah. Well, okay. go ahead, Mike. Talk. Oh, he's mine. Yo, yo, what up? How you doing, Cat Boogie? What's How up, you baby? feeling? How you feeling? I'm good, Seth. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Okay, who are you? Tell the people who you are. Tell the people right, who right. you are, Mike. Yo, I'm Mike Boss, man. You know, CEO of Family Tide. ABS, you know, is my artist. Yeah, shout out to ABS. He came out. Yeah, shout out to ABS. Showed us a lot of love. Definitely, definitely. He showed us the video that you're in. Matter of fact, I think we still have it. Um, maybe having it coming up. So I see ABS doing with some really big things. I'm real proud of him. Yeah, you know, he came yeah. up. He showed us a lot. He sat for a good little minute with us, and um, he's doing this thing. So, so I'm really happy to see that he's doing things. Yeah, that's my boy, man. I've been working with ABS for about two years now. You know, and we've been going hard. Yeah, I was loving that video. You know, um, shout out to money. Did you yeah. See that? Yeah, that's the one. When I came home, we got together and I helped him um, put it together. And everybody said that's the hottest video out. It is. It's dope. Sure. And speaking of that, I mean, my partner was actually. And you can catch it on YouTube. Person. You can see yes. it on YouTube and everything. We can catch it. We can catch it. Are you going to throw it? YouTube. <laughs> That's a whole lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that up. You got that on it? Right, but it's not, it's not, that one. 
in the meantime, in between time, I really like that yeah. sweater. I'd like a six act, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. I know you're not designing. I don't, I don't think they make that. I was going to say, yeah, you sell it. I get it. It's like, yo, what did you do that? Yeah, we got our own joints. Um, family tie. Shout out to my man, Divine. The plug, baby. Yeah, you know six act. Well, five and a half. I lost seven pounds. You today. got one out so five from, and a half. From, from California, K. Yeah, he okay. went, he went in the family tie. He went in the family tie. I like that. I like that. That's yeah, that's the logo. Yeah, that's all over the place, man. We get bigger and bigger every day. That's, that's dope. I still ain't get mine. I'm waiting on mine. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to take three to six weeks for mine. The fleet ain't got in yet. Mine got dust and everything on it. They take it out. I got you. Nah, it ain't dust. It's fresh. It's in the plastic waiting. That's right. So it's all just struggle. My phone's gonna ring like all night. But we as in May. Um, so Pete. The, the the ladies, the ladies, the ladies, the ladies, they love it. So I see you got this gentleman. I mean, you're very attractive. I mean, I, I gotta stop doing that. But I need to be blushing. Don't be blushing. <laughs> she got she gonna get wait, another wait, one. Wait, wait, wait. Damn, but don't be blushing. Just that fast. If it's that year, you own the world. She replaced it. Just that fast. Hold on, hold on. You see me work? Hold on, you work. Right. 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 She chose, player. Yeah. yeah. And, see, and, and that's what you get for saying, I'm going with you all night. Like I said, have you seen your hair lately? Right. Go ahead, cougarize him. Nah. I take them all. Yeah, you better watch it. He said he slapped me. I know. I'm so sorry. Yo, B.I., yo, B.I., yo, we just met the new host of the Cat Williams yeah, show. They got to replace us. Yeah, yeah. We got to replace us. So, man. yeah, so basically you're growing your, 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 your situation. I mean, you have some other artists here. You have Mike here. You have other people that are doing things with you. You know, they're yeah, not. Yeah, you know, that. this is what I do. I don't... See, I say this all the time. People go on. They're they so happy to be on. They want to take the whole two hours for themselves. No, I don't do that. I play my team and my family. I, see. I let them. I let them show Every their talent because, you know, there's a lot of people got talent. No. I mean, I. I could have bought so many more people, but you know, I said I, I I try to divide it up. Bring this one. We got another interview next week. You know, we get it. I bring them on because I want people to know that our people are grinding and they're doing something for themselves. And you know, like, you know, like, shout out to my man Kevin Charles too because, you know, there's a lot of dudes that come home. And they feel that, you know, we can't get back on. We can. I know the snitches slowed us down for a minute, but we back. So, you know, it's 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 something that I try to install to all of us that, yo, you know, we a family, we a team, we the ten percent. And that's what I call it, the ten percent. And, you know, we do what we have to do. So my nephew is balling. Family tired. I got this I got this surprise guests coming right now, they balling. I got you know, females I know they balling. Um, you know, because a lot of people don't give the shout outs to the females. But you got to Tom Green, and everybody talks about her because she just plays movies, shoe stores, clothing line. Danita Davis got a book out called Slippery When Red. Um, these are all these these are all fantastic ladies, and they close friends of mine. But Dana Thomas. Got the number one comedy shows in New York. She flies. Oh, okay. She, she flies out from out of town to do them now. And you know, I mean, I just you know, I, people don't know, and they need to know about these people because these are our people. I mean, and and, and so instead of going to buy clothes from other places, take a take a look at your people. You right. know, yeah. see what exactly. they got what first. You know, exactly. 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 Well, how, how can we ball? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody want, else balling. How can I ball? I want to say something real quick. Cool. Oh, I want to thank you. I want to thank you, you know, from Family Tie, we want to salute you, we want to thank you for being a part of the video. You know, the ABS video is a real big video for us, whole lot of money, y'all go check that out on YouTube, ABS, whole lot of money, you know what I mean? Once and some more, you know, I want to thank you, um, shut down Ricardo's for that, you know what I'm saying? Ricardo's, you like that too, baby, afterwards, like, we did the video at Ricardo's. when she come back, she switched back now. It was the hand. That's the appetite. Okay. Yeah, get the um. <laughs> I ain't had the mic in years. I'm gonna bless you uh, on that one. Oh yeah. Vet, but no. Hey, hey, hey. Bless up. Bless up. up. All right, y'all. Next up. Next up. Yeah. I believe that's me. Is it for me? Yeah, I got a question for you. So my question is, do you have any advice for the young kids that are coming up? Because I know you got a lot of young kids that are coming up. Yeah. 
like you have a lot going on, yeah. right? So after being held down for 21 years, yes. what is the first thing that you wanted to do or you just felt like you had to do? Like what did, what, to when what I first came out, first when day, I first yeah. came out, I wanted a uh, good meal. Mm-hmm. So I, I like seafood, so they took me to City Island. Mm-hmm. That was my first meal when I came home. Then you know what was next. Then the coochie. Then the coochie. Hold on, don't let me tell it. I'm ready. Yeah. I mean, and you came out, you was in a limo. Y'all was like, you was in a limo. Yeah, one. No, that's that's the state one. Oh, the first one. Oh, okay. The, the second one, I couldn't do the limo because they had all these cameras on me coming out the gym. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. The interview right. Well, so, let, me, let me ask the question. Wanda, Wanda was my first when I came home. Not, oh, to, not yeah. to cut you off. Let me ask you a question. Um, to kind of piggyback off of him. You know, a person that does 21 years, a lot of things changed, generations that didn't change. Mm. How hard was it for you to adjust to get back into the world after coming home for that long? Well, you know, I, I, again, I was like gun shy for a minute, but my family, you know, my boss, Paul, Terry, um, Devon, I'm the life, Devon, Wayne, Lars, all my people, they make sure my, you know, they make sure I was okay because they come see me, support me, what you need, what you need done. Mm. Are you okay? You know, because you know, I almost died twice. I almost died in jail, and I almost died when I came home. Right. And when I died, when I was sick in the hospital, when I came home, everybody came to see me, and I was so discombobulated. I didn't even know half the people that came to see me. But you know, Spinderella, um, Mike's father, band, all the, all the, all the, a lot of important Charles Oakley, Big D, Chaz, all of them came to see me because they, we thought I wasn't gonna make it, mm-hmm. but. Can you it touch was, on that a little bit? What yeah, is it that actually happened? Well, I, know. I, have a, I have a, a, a thing called myasthenia gravis. When um, it's a rare disease, and you're supposed to get hereditary, but I don't have it in my family, so that's why I know they put it in, my, in me. But it, what it does is, 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 is it's attacks your immune system. It's your antibodies attach your antibodies, so you lose your muscles and strength. Mm-hmm. I used to have a, a, a force up the bench in jail, so you know, so I started working out since 2010 because I was so sick. But they did that to me. But yeah. through the grace of God, like wrestling, I keep telling it, like in wrestling, you ever watched wrestling before? Yeah. When I'm pinned, they had me pinned down. Yeah. They said, one, two. He was ready to put me in the grave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happened. So, you know, but um, now, right here. That's the lineage. Do you know who this guy is? I do. You ever heard of the Wu-Tang Clan? Absolutely. You ever heard of Old Dirty Bastard? Of course. Let's tell them who you are. Yeah. What's good? What's good? I go by the name D. Bugs, Old Dirty Bastard's nephew, Riz's cousin, Jizz's cousin. Yeah. 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 That's what we do. We bring our brothers here. You know, surprise. Thank you. Yeah, who and your man behind you? All right, tell me who you are. Oh, hi, nice to meet you. I'm Lazarus, the top dog from the House of Representatives. I'm the money man and mighty dog, Terror Squad. Okay, Squad. Terror Squad. Love Terror Squad. They got some ill ass intros. I know, right? You know, you know, and you know, we 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 grew up in the same area. So you know, shout out to the um Terror Squad. Shout out to the Success Brothers. Shout out to Fat Joe and them. All right, that's all. That's all. Um, BX. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Hey, shout out to that. BX Live. Oh, yeah, the music. BX Live is in there. You got some music yeah, for that? Yeah, it's coming on. You ready? Yeah, I got his song. All right, then. Okay. You want to introduce? Yeah. Which one? Which song? Yours? Yeah. yeah, this is my new single. It's called Swerve by Lazarus. Okay. Swerve. Okay. Let's get it. All right, let's go. Mighty Swerve. Your boy Lazarus. Let's hop down. Let's do it. Okay, ask your question. What questions you want to know? Well, what do you what do you want your legacy to be? What do you think your legacy is? Um, as we get ready to play, I just want okay. people. To, I just want people to you know know that I was a real dude, a real brother, up and um, stand up brother, and um and um like I said, you know, it ain't about me. Make movies of my peoples. Make movies of peoples. And when I say peoples, I'm talking about all the blacks mm-hmm. and Spanish and everything that didn't tell. Make movies off of them. There's a lot of movies you can make people movies off of God fishing, underwood. I can go through a whole bunch of names. Prince, yeah. uh, uh, and like I said, Boy George King Ice, the Lynch Mars. And you know, you know, you can make movies of all these people. Stop making, you know, fuck Peter Shoe. You ain't gotta make movies off of me, but don't don't make movies off of these rats no more. Stop making the movies off of them. You know? Wow. Because they don't deserve the story. They don't deserve you no know, uh, like I said on Flex show. They wanted they wanted to do an interview with Kevin 
They made Kevin shot at them. All right, you want to do? They want to do an interview. I said, I said, Dad, didn't you do enough interviews when you was telling on people? You know what I'm saying? So we don't, we don't, we don't need no interviews. We don't need no interviews from them, from them man. You know, and, you know, like I said, we said before, you know, any bat wasn't soft, but that don't make a difference. Your name is soft. You know what I'm saying? So don't, don't come. You know, continue the real thing that you're supposed to do. Stay away from us. Because so, even though we're the 10%, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're stronger than the 90% yeah, yeah. because yeah. they can't yeah. come around yeah. each other. Yeah. They can't trust each other, but we can trust each other. Yeah. Our 10% yeah. means yeah. a lot, you know? And if you want it, we get it. What advice would you give to people who face, like, the same things that you face? Mm -hmm. Like, what would you say to them right now? Like, how would you tell them to stay strong and move forward? That's going through the situations of the yeah. came yeah. home now. The so, ones that's in jail or home? Both. When in jail, you know, you know, Get yourself into ideas that you know you can handle. Everybody can't be a Jay Z. Everybody can't be a Pete mm -hmm. Do what you feel is comfortable for you. The ones that's home now, I know it's rough, but you know, together we can we can strive. Divided we fall. And mm -hmm. That's what they've been trying to do for us for, I mean, X amount before I was born. Right, so you know, true. you got it. The, the, the real talk is, you know, stop being envious of the next man. Right. Be a supporter of the next man, all the real people. And, and if, if, you know, I was never the type of person, like, if Paul had a Mercedes, I want a Mercedes. I want what I want. I don't care if I want a jalopy. If I want a jalopy, that's what I'm going to go get. I'm not impressed with, you know, you know, these people coming online, yeah, we taking jet planes and we doing it. We, we did that shit in 1979, 80. You see what I'm saying? And we, don't, we never talked about it. You know? We went everywhere, dropped money every, you know, spent money. Everybody knows I was the first one to have a tiger at a party. So people can't tell me about, oh, we did this, we did that, we doing this. Hey, don't, 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 don't talk about it. Be, be, be about, about it. it. Mm -hmm. And go and go and help your brothers. Help the homeless people. You know, you're getting money. What's, what you throw, throw a G to somebody that's homeless? Hey, you know what I'm saying? They that. Children, children in the hospitals that have been childless, the pedophiles doing it, and they get less time than us. They, you, you got pedophiles out there doing Crazy shit. Mm -hmm. They don't get no time, but the kids is the kids is being oh, oh, the ones feeling it, the ones going right. having to have that for the rest right, of their life. Right. Support them on the holidays. Go through the hospital. You get a good feeling, man. If you go through the hospital just to see a child in distress and talk to them, that's better than going out there shooting somebody for stepping on your foot. Yeah, yeah. You get a better feeling. I tell the older young brothers that, and the, and, the, and the brothers that's that's you know in that gang stuff. Man, that's a trap war. Because they're going to give you 10 to 20 years off the top for that. And then you'll climb. And then they're going to throw you in Lewisburg. That's what they're doing now. They're throwing all the gangs together so they can kill each other. Wow. I mean, see, so you want that? Is that what you want at 20 something years old? I never, I wouldn't want that. No, not at all. See what I'm saying? When I went to jail, I never hung out with dudes that was negative. If I thought they was negative, yo, I ain't with them. You know? You have a sense. But yeah. if, you, if, if you get in my way, I'm going to make you feel it. But if you stay away from me, I'm not coming around you. And that's just that. That's why everybody from every state loves me, and everybody from every state comes to see me or call me. I got people from oh, D.C. when niggas are like, oh, I don't, I don't mess with D.C. I'm scared. Man, them niggas is my people. Mm -hmm. I got people in Baltimore. I got people in Boston, Philly, West Coast, California. I, get, I just spoke to my people in California. You're not to know. Detroit came and did an interview with me because I was deep in Detroit. Chicago, North Carolina, Atlanta. I'm everywhere because I don't get stagnated into where I'm um, just from New York. And then New York dudes are so fucking retarded because they get stagnated in a, a borough. I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from the bar. Nigga, you from New York. Yeah. Represent your town, New York. Now, people say, well, part of New York. Then you say, I'm from the Bronx or Brooklyn, whatever. But never would I say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, can't go nowhere. I go anywhere I want. I go to Atlanta. They, they know me and they know the power and know that I am not, you know, a person that's brain locked. Right, right, right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you see us come through, I always say this, when you see us come through, you know, you're going you're gonna to be outside, right? Because we get ready to turn it up because I got, I'm uniting all of us. And my team is getting deeper and deeper because everybody's coming on. You want to see, you want to hear, your building's shaking. And everybody going to be like, oh shit, it's an earthquake. Mm -hmm. Right? You're going to think it's an earthquake. Then you're going to say, there ain't no earthquake. What is this? Then you're going to say, 
Oh shit, don't tell me ISIS is getting ready to blow something up. It's not ISIS. It's Peter Shu and his family coming through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell is you guys, you got my mad song? We got Old Dirty Bastards? Yeah, we song? got it, yeah. Right, let's hit it, let's hit it. Let's call <laughs> it the best. That's the one you promote, baby. That's the one you promote. We can do that over time. Don't worry about the people ain't in yet. <laughs> they ain't in. Money talks, money talks. Money talks, don't worry, we got money. Okay, hold on, hold on. Baby, I need some money. Don't do it, Tom. It's about money. Don't do it, Tom. It's about money, Tom. What are you talking about? It's about money. Hold on, slide some of that shit up, baby. Don't do it, Tom. It's about money. Don't do it, Tom. It's about money. Don't do it, Tom. It's about money. Don't do it, Tom. It can't be about money. Is it about money? Yeah, I need a sponsor on my show. Can we get a donation for the Cat Show? You know, it's a it's a I don't know. Hey, listen. Let me explain something, y'all. Girls used to tell me how much money, how much money Peter Shoe got in his in his bag. He's like, they they be like, is it a hundred thousand, fifty thousand? Man, I spent ten thousand a night hanging out. So it ain't about that. We can get back to that too. Yeah, my miss. I'm about to get down on the Peter Shoe train. I'm about to get down on the Peter Shoe train. I'm about to get down on the Peter Shoe that's yeah, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. 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 we like to thank you so much. Hey, my trap! My, 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 Silent. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to yeah. That. that real shit. Real. Yeah. I'm the one that feel like a cowboy, nigga. It's the deep bullets and poppy collabo, nigga. Thirty-eight bullets leaving my barrel, nigga. The fucking dog is my shadow, nigga. My monster, these rappers, I catch them in my traps. We got the fire, I've been the hell and back. It's the essence of that hip hop. These big guns with the drums got me feeling like a kid right. That's what we're gonna be me. Oh, uh, 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 jealousy. Man, yeah, Perry went to home 171 again. That's why the family died. It was on the fire, in the head. I'm not saying it's a poor word, right? Play the Bermuda Triangle offense. A nigga scarred in my shoes, they need a portion. I'm a motherfucker, just need a coffin. I'm a machine, they got me like Dolph Lundgren. I'm a nigga, I'm a nigga. I'm 
Thanks for having me. And uh, this is just another added thing that what we're gonna do. We got more interviews coming up. We're gonna do one with my brother right here. Yes. We got, I got yeah. Friday. We got so much stuff going on. Just follow me. But you know, next week is a big week. So you're going to, next month, in fact, the whole December, you're gonna see me all over the TMZs and newspapers and press conferences. Something big you may happen. And I'm giving A-Sign a big movie deal. So And I'm playing up. Peter. And he's yeah, playing Peter. Peter. And he's, I, he's playing, playing me. The new piece. No, he's playing me when I went through all that shit in jail. You want to talk to him? You want to talk to him? I want you to go on with the police beat me up and everything. You want to walk him out sick, messed up and everything. You want to walk him out sick. Hey, you want to walk him out sick. And I'm being it like this. You got to get that. That's my movement. I just need a Paul in the movie. Yeah, I need to be in the movie. I don't know. I can't do no running now. Paul's definitely in it. You got to do Paul and do something to people. Shoot, like, like, like our movement, keep watching your movement. Definitely going to have people watching you, everything that you do. Fluid. And everything, you know, that you're doing positive. Fluid. You know, it's not only when you when you get locked down, you're not out, you come out, you still do things, still live and still Man, be support the 10%. Uh, support, the 10%. Yeah. Support, the 10%. support the 10%. Support the 10%. Support our people. You know, Absolutely. that lives matter. So, so give them all your, 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 your social media real quick yeah, before we get them out of here. My social media? Yeah. Um, on my in Instagram, I think it's the one and only Peter Shoe. Uh, my, my Gmail, shoes the one at gmail.com. Uh, I'm on Facebook, Peter Shoe. Every now I'm everywhere. Everybody, everybody, you call somebody, they'll tell you how to get to me. You know? I know, right? <laughs> and, and, and once you send that Batman <laughs> sign up, home. you send the Batman sign up. If I don't be there, Paul will represent. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Paul, the, like, huh? the camera one time, can you shout out Family Tie for us, please? Family Tie, we give a family shout out to Family Tie. Yeah. Yeah. I am the light. Um, 33T. Triangle, Bartel, and Hunts Point. And Hunts Point. And Hunts Point, where it all started. Yeah, where it all started. It all started. And it's going to continue. And I'm, yeah. and I'm coming out with a clothing line next year, too, oh, and, and, and Mexican ladies. What's the name? Oh, What's the name of the clothing line? I'm going to surprise you. You're going to surprise us. All right. Yeah, well, you can't come wait. back for that. We're going to talk about that. But I'm going to bring everybody together because it's going to represent all the clothing lines. Yes, yes. I'm not even trying to make money if I'm trying to get exposure for the brothers. Yeah, I hear you. All right? So we appreciate you, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Peter Shiro. Yeah! Peter! Oh, let me shoot.